My name is Tafari, the friendly parrot, and welcome to my children's audio book club, the Tafari Kids Book Club. I love to tell safari bedtime and all-time stories. My stories are all about the beautiful African safaris. I have many friends and bird cousins who live in the African safaris. I've got lots of interesting and exciting safari bedtime stories for you. I hope you'll enjoy them. This story is about Akila, the beautiful peacock. Here we go. John and his wife Pinta lived in a hilly green city named Kefi. The city of Kefi was called a hilly green city because it was surrounded by beautiful hills and evergreen trees and plants. John owned a poultry farm while Binta was a kindergarten teacher. John and Binta loved each other very much and had two children, six-year-old Kofi and four-year-old Ifua. Kofi and Ifua were on summer school break. They were enjoying their summer holiday at their grandma Tuli's house in the city of Nuri, which was a few miles away from Kefi. Grandma Tuli was Benta's mother. One day on his way back from work, John saw a peacock alongside the road. When the peacock had his wings spread out, it was the most beautiful bird he had ever seen. His feathers had many colors, and he could also open up the feathers around his tail. The peacock made strange noises, like he wanted to talk. Then suddenly, John heard the screeching sound of a car's tires as the driver sped away. At the same time, he heard the cry of a peacock. Then he saw that the peacock was badly wounded on his leg. He was bleeding. Oh no! The driver of the car hit the peacock and sped away. I must help the poor peacock, John screamed as he saw the wounded, bleeding peacock lying by the roadside. John came closer to observe the peacock. He was badly wounded on his leg. He lay still on the ground and was bleeding. John felt that the peacock was dying and that there was no way he could be saved. He thought to himself, Hmm, this peacock will make a delicious meal. I will take him home to Benta, my wife. She will roast him tonight for dinner. So John took the peacock home. And when John arrived home, he called his wife, Benta, Benta. Benta was in the kitchen cooking and heard John's loud voice. She answered, Yes, dear. Then John replied, Hello, my dear. I am glad you are home. Yes, I came back a short while ago, Benta responded. And she also asked John, So, how was your day at work? John hugged and kissed his wife, Benta, as he answered, My day was great, my dear, and I have a surprise for you. A surprise, Benta said as she looked around. She was eager to see what the surprise was. Then John showed her the peacock and said, I found this beautiful peacock by the roadside. He's badly wounded. I think you'll make a delicious meal. Oh dear, Benta exclaimed when she saw the bleeding wound on the peacock's leg. It's such a lovely peacock. I think we should try and save his life. But John replied saying, no, Benta, he cannot be saved. Besides, he's just a bird, and he will make a delicious meal for us, don't you think? Benta looked at the wounded peacock, then she thought, The poor bird is wounded and needs help. John moved closer to his wife Benta, smiled and hugged her. Then he asked, So, Benta, will you roast the peacock and make me a delicious stew? Although Benta didn't want to roast the peacock, she loved her husband John very much and could not say no. So she smiled and answered, of course, I'll roast the peacock for you. I'll cook you a delicious meal with the peacock. Benta placed the peacock on her kitchen table. Then she killed the peacock and placed him in a kitchen pan. She boiled some water, and when the water was boiling hot, she poured it on the peacock. Now she was ready to start plucking his feathers. Just as Benta plucked one feather, the peacock started to sing. My name is Akila, the beautiful peacock. My name, Akila, means to be wise in Swahili. Please do not pluck my feathers. Do you want to cook me? You should not cook me because I am the king of the birds. You cannot cook me because I am the king of the birds. Benta was shocked to hear the peacock sing. She threw down the peacock, ran out of the kitchen and out of the house. John was seated on a rock in front of the house when he saw Benta screaming and running toward him. Then she yelled out to him, Oh dear, I killed the bird, but he did not die. John, you must come quickly. The peacock you brought home can talk. He's not dead. I just heard him singing. His name is Akila, the beautiful peacock. He asked me not to cook him because he is king of the birds. John quickly came to meet Benta. He said to her, Benta, 
Birds like peacocks or whatever peas they are do not talk, and when they die, they still do not talk. How could a dead peacock say all that to you? How could a dead peacock sing? Then Benta replied, John, I heard the peacock speak, and he sang, you must believe me. Then John snapped, Benta, please stop acting like a crybaby. You still have to cook the peacock for dinner. Now please get on with the cooking. John was upset, and he went back to sit on the rock outside. He was now pouting. Benta obeyed John and started to pluck Aquila's feathers. Aquila started singing again, but Benta ignored it. When Benta was done plucking King Aquila's feathers, she was ready to start cooking him. She placed Aquila in a pot of hot water and then over an open fire, and as the water began to boil, the peacock started to sing. You are cooking me. I told you that you should not cook me because I am the king of the birds. Please stop cooking me. I am the king of the birds and you should not cook me. Once again, Benta called out to John, Oh no, John, the peacock is singing in the pot. He's boiling in the water, but he is still singing. John came into the kitchen where Benta was. He heard the bird singing, but didn't want to believe that a dead bird could sing. He said to Benta, Don't be afraid of the peacock. He's just a bird. By the time you are done cooking him, he will be dead. Benta was very afraid because she had never heard a dead bird talk or sing. She thought, this peacock is dead, is being cooked in hot boiling water, and can still sing. This is a strange bird. When Aquila was cooked, Benta began to roast him. As she put Aquila in the oven, he began to sing. You are roasting me. I told you that you should not roast me, because I am king of the birds. Please stop roasting me. I am the king of the birds, and you should not roast me. Once again, Benta called John, but he asked her to ignore the singing. After Aquila was nicely roasted and ready to eat, Benta served him at the table. Then she and John sat down to eat. Benta cut a small piece of Aquila, and as she tried to eat it, the peacock began to sing. You are eating me. I told you that you should not eat me, because I am king of the birds. Please do not eat me. I am the king of the birds, and you should not eat me. Benta dropped the piece of Aquila that she wanted to eat, and then said to John, I cannot eat this peacock. He is a strange bird. Perhaps he is really the king of birds, and we should not eat him. John replied, saying, Benta, if you don't want to eat, then I'll eat all of him. This peacock is dead, cooked and roasted, and he cannot hurt me. John began to eat the roast bird. As he ate Aquila, he continued to sing, but John ignored his singing. When John was done eating Aquila, he heard him singing in his stomach. Then Aquila said, Now, John, you will be punished for eating the king of the birds. John's stomach began to swell like a huge balloon. Then his stomach burst. Now when John's stomach burst, all his intestines that looked like long, wriggly worms poured out. It looked like poor John had died. Aquila came out with all of his beautiful feathers, just like he was before Benta killed him, plucked his feathers, boiled him, and roasted him. Aquila looked as beautiful as he did when John first saw him. Benta was amazed to see that Aquila looked as beautiful as he did before she killed him, plucked his feathers, boiled him, and roasted him. Aquila was alive again. Then Aquila turned to Benta and said, Now, Benta, do you believe that I am Aquila, the beautiful peacock, who is the king of the birds? Trembling and afraid, Benta shook her head and said, Yes, Aquila, I believe you now. Aquila felt sorry for Benta and said, Benta, I am really sorry about what happened to John. I tried to warn him, but he wouldn't listen to me. He was stubborn and simply would not listen. That's why he got into trouble. Still very afraid and trembling, Benta shook her head and said nothing more. She didn't want to get Aquila angry. She was afraid that Aquila would kill her like he killed John. Aquila took John's body and left Benta's house and then disappeared. Benta did not know where Aquila went with John's body. When Kofi and Ifua came home from Grandma Tuli's house, Benta told them what happened to their father John. They were very sad that their father, whom they loved very much, had died. Benta was now left all alone with her two children, Kofi and Ifua, because her husband John was dead and Aquila had taken him away. Benta told her friends about Aquila, the peacock, how she killed Aquila and he did not die, and Aquila sang, how she put Aquila in hot boiling water and still did not die, and Aquila sang, how she plucked all of Aquila's feathers and he still did not die, and Aquila sang, how she cooked Aquila and he did not die, and Aquila sang. How she roasted Aquila, and he did not die, and Aquila sang. Then Benta told her friends how John ate Aquila, and his stomach grew big and burst. She told them that it was how John died. Some believed Benta, while others did not. 
Many of her friends thought that Binta's story was too strange to believe. A few of her friends went about saying that Binta killed her husband. When Binta heard this, she was very sad. She took her two children, Ifua and Kofi, back to Grandma Tuli's house in the city of Nuri to tell her what happened to John and how he died. Grandma Tuli welcomed Binta, Kofi, and Ifua in her house. Grandma Tuli also cried when Binta told her what happened to John and how he died. She believed Binta's story because she knew that Binta loved John very much. She consoled Binta, Kofi, and Ifua and asked them to remember how good John was as a father and a husband. She hoped that one day Binta would be happy again. Later, Binta... Kofi and Ifua moved from her house in Kefi to the city of Nuri to live with Grandma Tuli, and she welcomed all of them. Then one day, Kofi and Ifua were outside playing when they heard a peacock singing. The peacock said, My name is Akila, the beautiful peacock. I am the king of the birds. I met a lady named Binta. She cooked me, and her husband ate me, and I am back. I am the king of the birds. Kofi stared at Ifua and screamed, Ifua, Ifua, can you hear the singing peacock? Yes, I can. I, I can see him, too. He's absolutely beautiful, Ifua answered. And Akila the peacock heard them and said, Yes, I am Akila the beautiful peacock. I am the king of the birds. Kofi and Ifua ran toward Grandma Tuli's house, screaming, Mom, Grandma, come quickly. Come and see a beautiful peacock. And he is singing. A singing peacock, Binta screamed. Yes, Mom, the peacock sings, Ifua said. It must be Akila, the beautiful peacock, Binta screamed again. Mom, you know the name of the peacock, Kofi asked. Yes, that was the same peacock that your dad found along the roadside, and I killed him, placed him in boiling water, plucked his feathers, and cooked and roasted him, and your dad ate him and then died. And Akila came out of your dad's stomach looking as beautiful as he was before I killed him, placed him in boiling water, plucked his feathers, cooked and roasted him. Then Akila took your dad and disappeared, Benta replied. Yes, Mom, Akila is his name. He calls himself Akila, the beautiful peacock, the king of the birds, Ifua said. Mom, Grandma, come with us. Let's go and meet Akila, Kofi screamed. Benta and Grandma Tuli ran out of the house with Kofi and Ifua to see Akila. When Akila saw Benta, she said, My name is Akila. I am the king of the birds. Benta started to cry, Akila, where is my husband John? I loved him and you killed him. Where is John, Akila? That's why I am here now, Benta. Your husband John is not dead. I took him home and healed his stomach. I told you, I am Akila, the beautiful peacock. So dad is not dead? Where is he? Ifua asked. Yes, where is our dad, Akila? Kofi also asked. From behind the bushes, John stepped out and said, I am right here. Oh, God, thank God, John, is that you? Benta screamed as she ran and hugged her husband, John. Kofi and Ifua also ran to their dad and hugged him. Thank you so much, Akila, Kofi and Ifua said together. Thank you, Akila, you are truly king of the birds, Benta said. Yes, I am. I am a tough bird. I go through hard times and I survive. Yes, I am, Akila, the king of the birds. Now I must return to my kingdom, Akila also said. Goodbye, Akila, said John and Binta. Goodbye, John. Goodbye, Binta. Goodbye, Kofi and Ifua, Akila said. And thank you for bringing Dad back home, Kofi finally said. You are very welcome, Akila said. Akila spread his wings and the feathers around his tail and started to walk away. And then he said, My name is Akila, the beautiful peacock. I am the king of the birds. Well, kids, this is the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed my story about Akila, the beautiful peacock. Remember, don't try and kill a peacock. It may be Akila, the beautiful peacock. Be kind and gentle and good to all animals. They, too, want to be loved. Until next time, kids, I'm Tafari, the friendly parrot, and I look forward to telling you my next story. Bye-bye. The beautiful peacock. My name Akila means to be wise in Swahili. Do not pluck my feathers. Do you wanna cook me? You cannot cook me now because I am the king of the birds. My name is Akila. The beautiful peacock. My 
name at Kila means to be wise in Swahili. Do not roast me now, because I am the king of the birds. My name is Akila.